In this tutorial, we are going to solve a very interesting question under projector motion. So here is a question for you. Uh, upon sp spotting an insect on a twig overhanging water, an anchor fish swids water drops at the insect to knock it into the water as shown below. Although the fish sees the insect along a straight path at an, at an angle phi, and a distance d, a drop must be launched at a different angle theta. If its parabolic path is to intersect the insect, if phi is 36 degrees and d is 0 0.900 meters, what launch angle theta is required for the drop to be at the top of the parabolic path when it reaches the insect? Okay, so as you can see from the diagram here, we have the anchor fish and the insect on top there. So the, the straight line which is connecting uh, from the fish all the way to the insect is the distance d which is 0.9. So now they are saying that um, from the surface of the water all the way to the, uh, the line of the distance or the path there is an angle phi. So this symbol, this symbol represents phi and not theta. Okay. So they want us to find the angle theta if it was launched as a projector. Now from here, all the way going there, then it, it goes there. So the, the angle from this point all the way to there, that is going to be our theta. Okay? So that is very, very important. Now, they are saying that what angle must, um, what angle can this fish use so that it reaches at the same maximum distance where the insect is okay so allow me to extend this one a bit this horizontal distance so this is going to be the projector which is going to be launched from this point then it's supposed to go there until it falls down okay so as we can see from this point all the way to there we can have our feeder that is the feeder which we are trying to find now Okay, so as you can see, we are still reaching at the maximum height. Now, if this is a straight path where we have D, then we can see that we are going to have this distance here, which is going to be the maximum distance from this point all the way to down here. We are also going to have this distance. At the same time, we have this D. Okay, so as you can see, we have got an angle which is 36 in this case. Now, if this is D, which is 0 0.9, so if this is 0 0.9, then we can find this maximum height, which is h. We can also find, so as we can see from this point all the way to there, we know that this is going to be the range. Now from this point here, all the way to this point is half the range. 1 over 2, the range. Even this point here is going to be 1 over 2, 1 over 2, the range. Okay, so we can find this maximum height and we can also find the range using the the Pythagoras theorem here. Okay, so to find the edge, what are we going to do? To find the edge, we can see that that edge is going to be, if we use Sokatoa, okay, if we use Sokatoa, we are going to see that sine is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. So, sine theta is going to be equal to, the opposite in this case is edge. The hypotenuse is 0 0.9. So we're trying to find H. So H is going to be 0 0.9 sine the, uh, the phi. In this case, we are talking about the phi and not the theta, which is at 6 degrees. So to find H is going to be 0 0.8 or 0 0.9 sine theta, which is sine phi, which is at 6 degrees. So I'm getting 0 0.5 so 0 0.529 is the same as 0 0.53. So in this case, our distance here is in three significant figures. Okay, three decimal places in short. So if it is in three decimal places, we can see that even here we need to leave our answer in three decimal places, which is going to be 529 meters. So that is our edge now. Okay, so we can get rid of this. So our edge now is going to be 0 
to 9. Okay. Now, we know that for us to find, this is projectile motion, for us to find the distance, the maximum distance or the maximum height using projectile motion uh, formulas, we can see that the H max is given by, okay, it's V squared sine squared theta divided by what? 2G. Now, in this case, we have our H already. So, we're going to replace our H there, which is 0 0.529 is going to be equal to V squared sine squared theta divided by what? Divided by 2G. Okay? At this point now, we can cross multiply so that we get rid of this uh, bottom part here. So, we're going to have V squared sine squared theta is going to be equal to so if I do 2 times 0 0.529 times 2 I'm going to get 1.058 times G so let's call this one to be our equation 1 okay so I'm going to put this equation 1 here since we are trying to find the theta we don't have the velocity in this case. So we need to have, we, we have two unknown variables. We don't have theta, we don't have what, the V. So we need to have two equations in this case. So I can now remove this. So my first equation now, I can see that I have V squared sine squared theta is equal to 1.058 G. So this is our equation 1. Okay, now let's see how we can get another equation using the range. So, range we are going to use, we are, we are now going to get this one only, the half of it. So, to find that one using Sokatoa, we, are, we see that we have adjacent over hypotenuse. So, you can see that it's going to be cos. So, cos theta is going to be equal to the adjacent is uh, half times R, everything divided by what? the the hypotenuse in this case the hypotenuse is 0 .0 0 0.9 so we can see that half range is going to be equal to 0 0.9 cos the phi in this case is not theta but phi because we are using this angle 36 so the phi is 36 so we are going to if i want to find r i can see that i can cos multiply and then r is going to be 2 times 0 0.9 cos 36. So my range in this case is going to be 2 times 0 0.9 is 1.8. So 1.8 cos 36. So this is giving me the range to be 1.456 okay, meters. So now, since our range now is uh, 1.456 meters. Now, we know the formula for finding the range. In this case, we don't have time. Now, we know that the formula for finding range, we know that range is given by Vx times T. Now, if it, it was projected at an angle, this range is going to be this range is going to be Vx, which is V cos theta times T. Now, the time which we are talking about here the time is given by the formula T from this point all the way until it reaches down there. It is given by 2 V sine theta divided by G. So I'm going to replace T with C. So we have V cos theta times 2 V sine theta divided by G. So you're going to see that the range is given by the formula. We're going to have V times V is V squared. Then we're going to have 2 sin theta cos theta then we divide this by g now what we have to understand here is that we have got an identity here so the formula for range this one is squared so the formula for range is given by we can see that this two sin theta cos theta is an identity we can place it with sin two theta Okay, so perhaps you have seen this formula to say the range is given by V squared sine 2 theta divided by G. So this is the formula for range. Okay, now 
we have the range already our range is um our range in this case we have 1.456 is going to be equal to v squared sine 2 theta everything divided by g so let's cross multiply we're going to see that v squared sine 2 theta we're going to have um 1.456 times g so we're going to call this one as equation 2 so we have v squared sine 2 theta is equal to 1.456 g so let's call this one as equation 2 now we can divide equation 1 by equation 2 okay to find the theta now what we're going to do now there we're going to say we divide equation 1 by equation 2 so what is our equation 1 so we're going to divide equation 1 divided by equation 2 so we can see that equation 1 is v squared okay v squared sine squared theta mm, is going to be equal to we can see that we have 1.058 g i'll divide it by equation 2 so equation 2 is v squared sine 2 theta has to be equal to 1 point 1.456 g now from this point we can see that we can cancel the v squared and v squared we can cancel the g and g so we're going to have sine sine squared theta we divide it by sine 2 theta this is going to be equal to 1.058 we divide it by 1.456 now at this point we can see that this bottom part here is an identity okay this identity we can replace it with 2 sin theta cos theta so where there is this i'm going to replace it with what this part here so let's go ahead and see what we're going to have so where there is uh so i'm going to say this is going to give me sine squared theta i'm going to divide it by i'm going to divide it by uh, 2 sine theta cos theta this has to be equal to 1.058 i divide it by 1.456 now from here we can cancel one sign so i'm going to cancel one sign here and i'm going to remain with one sign and this sign is going to go now we can see that we're going to have this let's get rid of this to create space we are going to have a uh, sign sine theta is going to be equal to 2 cos theta is going to be equal to 1.058 we divide it by 1.456 now from here what i want us to understand is that we have sine over cos sine over cos is going to give us tan okay so let's get rid of this we can even cross multiply at this point so we are going to see that we are going to have we have um, 1 over 2 we have this 1 over 2 times sine theta this is going to give us tan theta this is going to be equal to uh, 1.058 we divide it by 1.456 now to get rid of this half I can just do times 2 here everywhere or from here you can just cross multiply and you are going to come up with 2 is going to multiply with that one then you can get rid of this 2 so here I'm going to do times 2 if I do times 2 2 times everything here is going to be just tan theta it's going to be equal to then 2 times that one we're going to see that we're going to have 2 times 1.058 which is going to be 2.116 we divide it by 1.456 now we can divide both sides by tan it's the same as just saying theta is going to be tan inverse once i divide it by tan even here by tan it's the same as one over tan feet or tan 
meaning that here we are going to remain with theta will be equal to 1 over tan is the same as tan inverse. So tan inverse will be equal to 2.116, we divide it by 1.456. Now let's see the angle which we are going to have. Okay, so the angle which we are going to have in this case, we are saying that we have theta will be equal to, so we have shift tan, open brackets, we have 2.116, we divide it by 1.456. So I'm getting my angle to be 55.46, which is the same as 5 degrees. So this is the angle which is supposed to be, which the fish is supposed to use to, uh, for it to reach at the what, the maximum, so that they meet with the, uh, the insect on top there. So that is it for this question. So the answer is 55.5 degrees from the horizontal. Okay.